there, Bridget Mayer here from Bridget Mayer Gallery and phillyartexperience.com. Thank you so much for tuning in again. This is my third video on the series that I'm creating on some of the top 10 fears around art collecting. These are fears that I've encountered over my 13 years as being an art dealer here in Philadelphia. So thank you again for tuning in and I hope this is informational and informative for you. I'm actually sitting here at the wonderful bar at Tallulah's Garden, which is right on Washington Square Park. It steps away from the gallery. So if you come out to our benefit show, I recommend you come over here and check out their menu. They have a wonderful wine list and a cheese list and very organic, healthful food, farm to table. So please come check it out. One of the top fears that I've encountered that people have when they're thinking about collecting is that they just don't understand art and they don't know enough to make an informed decision. It's definitely a legitimate thought as there are literally hundreds of artists on the marketplace, a lot of galleries showcasing art and art being made every minute. So where does one start? One of the great things about living in a city like Philadelphia is that it's an opportunity to really get to know the art scene. Um, in Philadelphia alone, there are dozens of galleries showing um, from emerging to established artists. Every dealer here has an individual program and I recommend that you get into the art scene. Um, one way of doing this is to look up the galleries and find out where they're located and jump on their website and see what they're showing, read their mission statement, look through some of the artists, and then get on their email list, get on their mailing list, and start coming out to some of the openings. Openings can be a great way to learn more about art. Often the artist is there, there's an art director there that will be talking about the work. Um, often there's lectures going on around openings, so I recommend that you come out to the galleries and really get to know what's going on in each individual gallery. Um, I have some rules that, that I've come up with over the years around buying art. Um, the first is always buy from a gallery. Not everyone would agree with me, but in my opinion, art dealers have done their homework. They've done all the homework for you. They've vetted out hundreds of artists and they've selected some of the best. They've often gone into studios and they've picked some of the best pieces being made to curate an exhibition. So literally, when you walk into a solo show, you're getting the best of the best from the artist studio and that the dealer has curated into a solo show. The other thing with that is that down the road as you establish your relationship with the dealer, if there's ever any issue you have with a piece of art, you always have a personal contact to go back to to get help with anything you might need within your art collection. The second thing is I tell people always buy what you love and I mentioned that in my first video, and don't let anyone convince you to buy something that you don't love, because ultimately you're not gonna like the piece, and months from now or a year from now, you're gonna look at it and not like it. So always buy what you love. The third thing that I recommend is to go out to galleries, and as I mentioned, get to know their programs, and once you identify an artist that you like, get to know the artist more, look at their resume, look at their statement, see where they've exhibited, see how established they are, and do a little research. Maybe they have a catalog, maybe they've had museum shows, so really get to know the artist's work. And then the final step would be to go out to that gallery to have them pull inventory and look at as much of the artist's work as you can. Um, maybe talk to the artist and then Think about what you like from that artist's work and literally the pieces will jump out to you that call to you. So as I mentioned, always buy what you love and that's my final tip. Go out to the gallery, pick the work that you like and, and collect it. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. So thank you for tuning in again. I look forward to seeing you on our next video and we look forward to having you at our benefit show.